Up next is Professor Carrasco. Um, he's a professor here in the biochemistry department and he'll pre be presenting on honeybees and humans. Thank you, Carol. Um, so I'm very grateful for this opportunity uh, to present uh, to you today. Uh, this is a very personal story that has been developed in the backyard at home, um, which is uh, the interface between my family and honeybees. I want you to picture this. This is what uh, our grocery stores would look like without honeybees. It's something very serious. Bees are very important pollinators. About one third of the food that we eat today are pollinated by honeybees. And yet, they are dying in great, great numbers. For example, in the United States, um, there are about 2.6 million of managed uh, colony of honeybees. And every year, about 30 to 40% of those colonies die since 2006. So the, the, the trend is pretty dramatic and concerning. So a good question is, what is killing honeybees? And the answer is that we don't really, really know. It seems to me that there are many different uh, elements uh, coming together to form uh, the perfect storm, leading to malnutrition, and uh, which leads to a weak immune system, which uh, makes uh, uh, honeybees more susceptible to parasites and other diseases. And to finish them off, we have pesticides. There are a few types of pesticides, and I want to dedicate this slide to neonicotinoid or neonics. And a research group at uh, Harvard University uh, recently demonstrated that 50% of honeybee colonies which have been exposed to a sub-lethal level of these pesticides died consistent with the symptoms of colony collapse disorder. That is a, a, a condition described by the disappearance of honeybees from the hive, leaving only honey, as you can see on the left, and a few live bees. In the bottom, a, a, a very recently, a different experiment was performed with bamboo bees. And in this case, it was demonstrated that uh, these pesticides decrease the rate of pollination, which also leads to a decrease in the frequency that honeybees, and in this case, bamboobees, collect pollen. And this experiment was performed using apple trees, so uh, the outcome was that apple trees had a, a lower yield in fruit. So the question is, what can we do to save honeybees? Definitely, uh, the current farming practice uh, is very concerning. And of course, on the left, uh, that is my son, Jonathan. Um, I think it is not practical for us to manually pollinate every plant so that we can have enough food to eat. What I propose is a model in which we can integrate beekeeping with farming, in this case, is my backyard. So I obtained two beehives uh, this spring, and this has given me a great opportunity to learn about honeybees and to learn about how to keep them uh, alive at the same time that I you know, can um, feed my family responsibly. Thank you.